What's good YouTube? It's your boy Dirky Chan. Today I'm gonna do a full review of the entire Chanel Allure line. One of the best lines, in my opinion, of fragrances for every occasion, day, night, whole season, whole year. This line has got you covered. But before I jump into that, guys, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. I appreciate all the love. We're almost there to 1k. I can't believe it. I started this channel one year ago just to see how far we've grown is insanity. So thank you to each and every one of you. I read all the comments. I love all the positivity. I love all the feedback. Keep it coming fragrance family. You make me better and you make this channel better. So I wouldn't be here without you and I can't continue without you. So I just want to say thank you. All right, let's jump right in. Chanel Allure. Oh man, it all started with this bad boy right here. The original Eau de Toilette. As you can see, this one, I didn't use too much of it yet. Reason being is that the original EDT is the most grown up, most mature, and most masculine smelling out of all of these. This one you're gonna get peach mixed in with heavy musk and vanilla. This is a very throwback type of scent. It reminds me of the good old days, the 90s, a nice clean suit or a nice clean button up, very put together, slick back here. This is the cool dad scent. This is the sexy grown up guy scent. Wear this day or night, it does not matter. It just smells like a masculine, sexy kind of guy. Hint of a barbershop kind of vibe yet you still get the sweetness, you still get some freshness. It evolves through the entire life cycle of this fragrance. Fantastic performance, six to eight hours. On clothes, this one also smells really, really great. It still evolves on your clothes. On skin, I realized that this really, really mixes well with my sweat. It gives a second skin, second um, scent kind of feel. It makes your sweat smell better, <laughs> smell less stinky. So this one to me is a classic. I definitely will be wearing this more this coming fall and winter, definitely in the day or the nighttime. Very classic casual scent. I could wear it out or I could wear it on a date. Very, very classy, but not the most modern out the bunch. I would have to say the only downside with the original is it might not be modern enough. It can't really compete with some of those blue fragrances or uh, with this beast right here, but we'll get to that later. But this one, if you're looking to pick up a classy fragrance, you're an older gentleman in your 30s, your 40s, and your 50s, or if you're just going to want a scent that's almost like a second uh, sweaty, sexy scent, get this one. Again, classic scent but not the most modern. All right, let's move on to Le Homme Edition Blanc. This one, along with the O Extreme, are the two most expensive ones in the line. The original EDT, the Sport Cologne, and the original Homme Sport will run you about 90 to 100 bucks. Whereas these two, the, the classier ones, the stronger ones, the more interesting ones, the EDPs will run you about ooh, 130, 140. It is steep, very, very steep. But I would have to say the quality is in the details, all right? First, look at this beautiful rose gold bottle. This is a work of art right here. It looks great on your shelf. Creamy top, fantastic. Now let's get to the scent. This one to me screams spring. Day, cool summer day. I absolutely love this scent, more so in the mids and the dry down than the opening. The opening can be very strong with the lemon burst in your face, but over time the vanilla comes out and it warms everything up, smooths everything out. This one to me is the most citrus heavy one out of the entire line. Here you get peach fruitiness, but here you get lemony, sweet, vanilla-y. Again, another great, classy kind of smell, but you can also wear it casually. 
This one is very versatile as well. You can wear it day or night, in the springtime or in the fall time. You can kind of get away with it in the hot summer, only on the cool days or in the nighttime. This just smells very good. There's seductiveness behind it, albeit every single one of these in this entire line has that sexy quality about it, has that compliment factor about it, has that X factor in a designer fragrance that makes it very, very good, no-brainer, compliment guaranteed, confidence guaranteed kind of scent. It's just that the qualities that Chanel uses and the mixtures that they use is very, very fine-tuned for a designer that it kind of justifies the price. But the Dishon Blanc to me, again, the best spring option, in my opinion, if you want something citrusy fresh, and I love citrusy fresh, this is like Blue de Chanel, but they turned it into the Allure Homme because you get that amazing citrus with that sweet, sweet smoothness of the vanilla. So this one, fall, winter. This one, spring, fall. Now we move on to the hot, hot summer days. Allure Homme Sport Cologne. I absolutely love this. This not this does not get enough love in the fragrance community. This is really talked about. Oh boy. If you smell Dear Om Cologne before, or if you smelled a very lemony, icy type of fragrance like Jimmy Two Man Ice, this one is just a higher, higher quality take on it. This one is just clean, fresh, sharp, springy, zingy lemon. So you know how in Blue de Chanel EDT, you get that initial grapefruit zinginess. You definitely find that in a little Ohm Cologne. You get that zingy um, lemon right off the bat, balanced out with this sweet semi-sour green note, which makes it absolutely a summer hot day staple. This one will make you feel cool in the summer, yet the musk in it comes off as very classy as well. I don't know how Chanel does it, but every one of their fragrances has this classiness to it, has this sense of elegance to it, and I absolutely love wearing it. It makes me feel like I can conquer the day in the summer, even though I'm sweating, I know I'll still smell good. So the Sport Cologne is something I absolutely must have in my summer collection in a rotation. I absolutely love wearing this to the office, to a date. It just works in the summer. If I'm looking for something simple, in the high heat, bam. The cologne is perfect, very classy. Now, my recent pickup is the baby bottle of the Allure Ohm Sport. Not the O Extreme, but the just the regular Sport. Now this one to me is very, very good as well. The projection, I would say, is slightly more prominent than the O Extreme, maybe because I'm getting nose fatigue because O Extreme is very, very strong. But this one to me is basically you take O Extreme, but you strip away all the Tonka bean. You add in a bit more of that fresh citrusness and that aquaticness and you get the Ohm Sport. It's definitely a very good fragrance. A lot of people compare it to Versace Pour Ohm. I would pick this over Versace Pour Ohm just because it's a bit higher quality smelling. It's a bit more smooth a bit less of that uh, aquatic syntheticness. So a little Ohm Sport is definitely a good pickup if you're looking for that all day, spring, summer, fall type of fragrance in the daytime just to wear, lounging around, no special occasions. This one will do you no harm. This one's a great pick for those classy summer days, year round as well. The reason why I picked a small bottle is because I absolutely love the Tonka Bean in O Extreme. It makes it that much more hectic, that much more noticeable. So it only got me a little small 50 ml, which will still cost you around 70 or 80 bucks. But it's definitely something I like to keep around. I like layering it with O Extreme. So sometimes if I wear O Extreme in the daytime, the Tonka Bean might be a bit too aggressive. So I'll layer on with Ohm Sport over it to freshen it up a bit. Uh, so this one is good. Some people say skip it and go get the O Extreme. I would say definitely smell a little Ohm Sport first, just to get a sense of, 
you know how deep you want the scent to be if you want something deeper and richer oak stream is the one but if you just like it as is or you want it freshened up maybe try the uh, the cologne it's definitely it has that dna but a lot more lemon so definitely there's a range between these three so definitely don't skip this definitely try it out but if you're looking for something more sinful more sultry more bangery more compliment heavy you gotta go with the oh extreme baby this one that added tonka bean note really just elevates it to god tier it has this this effect in the air the sillage of this scent is very noticeable powdery citrusy it just covers all areas this one if i had to pick one okay if i had to pick my top it would be these two these two eau de parfums as my must two must have out of the entire line but if i had to pick one it would have to be O extreme because in my opinion O extreme has a little bit of each one of these fragrances in it it has that you know classy old-timey vibe thanks to the tonka bean and mandarin that the uh a little om edt gives but then it also has that warm citrusy vibe of the addition blanc because this has the tangerine and the tonka bean but then it also has that citrusness in here the tangerine but then it also has that sporty aquatic vibe in in the original so this one is a amalgamation of all of these combined into le extreme baby so this one to me i understand the hype behind this and I absolutely love this i do have a love hate relationship with this fragrance though because i find it if you wear it in the hot summer days it can be a bit much uh but other than that it's fantastic for every other season so that's my uh, review of the Allure line. Obviously, I've got all of them because I absolutely love the DNA in this scent. It's casual, yet it's classy at the same time, which means it's highly, highly versatile. My least favorite one at the moment would have to be the EDT just because it's a bit too old school for me, but I, I can imagine when I get older, I will gravitate towards this a bit more just because it does have that really classy mature vibe and then um okay let's just rank these number one no brainer o extreme boom numero uno number two edition blanc gotta love it and then it's a tie between these two because the cologne great for summer days and just great for an office fragrance if you're just going in Whereas Ohm Sport, this one's just your classy casual, throw it on and go out year round. And then coming in at the end for now is the Allure Ohm, the original. So this is my review of the Allure Ohm line. They have something for everybody. If you old timer, get this. Party boy, get this. You love nature, get this. You love hot summers, get this. And you just like chilling around, get this. Quite expensive, but I love the quality. Guys, do you agree with my overall assessment of this line? I feel like Chanel knocked it out of the park and it's this line still continues to sell very well across the board. I can't wait to see what Chanel releases next. I feel like whatever they do release next, it's gonna be a banger. They're obviously working on something, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this line. Will they make a new flanker? Who knows, I can't wait. But yeah, that's all I have, guys. Let me know if you have any one of these. Which one's your favorite? Which one you like the most? I appreciate the time. I know this was a longer video, but thanks for staying till the end. Peace, guys. Durky out.